everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to SevTech Ages. This isn't working out the way I hoped. <laughs> not at all. I wonder if why I'm standing on this that the animation does not work at all. See how the power's going? Oh, it's moving. There it goes. I guess if we had this thing fully powered, it would be moving. I wanted to look like I was riding a horse. I was just sitting up there, bouncing up and down like as a horse, but apparently it wasn't going to work. So between episodes, I clicked a button and didn't see my notes. So there we go. We got that fixed finally. I did something else. I added another tank over here. It's really cool how these things look next to each other. Now what I did was I watched the game freeze as usual. I did not hook up this pipe. I ran the pipe over here, but I stopped and I took a bucket that I had. I had some diesel right here. I scooped it out and I put diesel in there. So I primed this liquid tank to be labeled as diesel. This one is naphtha. And so then what I did was I hooked up the pipe. Look, there's no diesel here. Notice that? Because whenever this thing makes diesel, the diesel runs out to that tank. So it is smart. It can see where each fluid goes and it runs it out. So what I figured out I need to do is not run oil into this because that gives me like fractional amounts of fluid and so it gets stuck on the input and we have to get a certain amount of fluid going on there. If I had enough materials and power and stuff where basically I could set this up and I could have a distiller, that distiller would output to tanks what its uh, fluid was. So basically I would have a pump jack going to a tank. That tank would go to a distiller and run oil into it. So we'd have oil going in. Out of that oil would come diesel and naphtha. So we would have a pipeline coming out going to two tanks uh, holding naphtha and diesel. And then I would run a, uh, a pipeline going from diesel to another distiller. And that distiller would take in only diesel and it would output kerosene, gasoline, and where's the lubricant? Oh, it's weird. It's like just barely a different color. But then I would be able to output into three different tanks. So I would have one, two, three. I would have five fluid tanks and two distilleries running plus all the power systems that would need to be running to get this stuff going. That would be how you could automate it and nothing would get mixed up. That's what I'm thinking. But we left last episode on a cliffhanger that we were going to get one more fluid out of here. Yes, we were. And that fluid was going to let us achieve an advancement. So let's see here. We've got diesel. The diesel's almost run through. Will this give us a bucket of lubricant? No, it wants to give us kerosene. It wants us to get attacked by a zombie. Where are you? I hear you. You must be underground. So we're getting stuck here with kerosene. And there's just a little... It needs 80 more kerosene to pull that out. So see, that is what's a little annoying. Is that it... You know, we, we would have to run this out. Okay, so that gave us a bucket of kerosene. Oh, cool. The, the little texture goes away when it's not processing anymore. So let's see here. We've got our molten naphtha. You know what we can do? Now that we've got a storage spot for the naphtha, let's go ahead and scoop that. We can put that right there. Come on, you keep hopping and jumping. <laughs> Happy pig is what you are. And let's go ahead and dump kerosene that has got a very interesting look to it i wonder if we could use that in some kind of a decoration or something we might get hurt from it <laughs> that would be the downside so let's see here if we run that through what does that give us gasoline okay so we got buckets of gasoline so we're just creating all kinds of uh industrial spills and whatnot over here just a big mess is what we're creating so I wonder if we did this, did it, did it take it? Where'd it go? Nope. Okay. You know what? Let's keep them separate just in case. Cause I get the feeling that each one of these fluids we're going to end up needing for something. 
That's kind of cool how they're lighter in color. Very similar to, to how it would work in real life, I believe. Okay, there we go. So we'll just come back over here. Let's run these buckets through and see what else we can get out of this. So that... Okay, it looks like we got all the gasoline out. Awesome. So we should... Oh, advancement. Nice. Give her some gas. Give her some gas, she said. <laughs> so let's get on top of this tower so that we're safe. Just in case it becomes nightfall because my back, my bedding, it finally broke on me. It self-destructed. So we're going to have to build another one of those eventually. So, nope, that's not what we want to do. We want to check advancements. Yes, we do. Give it some gas. So we so that dead ends right there. So the next thing we need to work on is the immersive tech boiler or solar tower. What is immersive tech? Is immersive tech something like an add-on to immersive engineering? Immersive engineering. T E. Uh oh. I broke my game. I somehow crashed it. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, everybody. Ran over here, went ahead and slept as soon as the game reloaded. I don't know what that was. That was a really, really strange crash. Maybe it had something to do with just messing with typing different stuff. But no matter what, it just don't push the buttons. Don't type things, Piggy. Never again. <laughs> Let's get over here where it's a little bit... I was going to say quieter, but the sheep are just making sure that's not going to happen. Here we go. This is nice and quiet. So we were looking at this immersive tech boiler or solar tower. So we have a, we have a choice which one we want to build. So I checked this and first page immersive tech. So immersive tech is in here as part of this. So it said a solar tower or a boiler. So what's the difference between the two? The solar tower is a multi-block structure that uses the light of the sun, transforming the water in, in steam, transforming water into steam. The structure is built as shown above and formed by using the engineer's hammer on the redstone block right there. Solar tower can produce steam from water and distilled water. One bucket of distilled water produces 750 millibuckets of steam. Huh. One bucket of water produces 500 millibuckets of steam. Oh, so distilled water will make more steam than regular. Water can be output into the solar tower, input into the solar tower via the two hatches at the left and the right that are marked with blue dots. Input blue, remember? The hatch with the orange dot at the back serves as a fluid output. The solar tower needs at least one solar reflector to work. So we have to make a solar tower and a solar reflector for it to work. The solar reflector is a multi-block structure that reflects the light of the sun to the center of the solar tower. The structure is built as shown above. Now, what is that weird little block? A block of silver. Okay. To work, there must not be the there must not be anything blocking between it and the solar tower. And at the top of the reflector, only in the center, the reflector's figure must fit with the center of the solar tower. And the distance between the reflector and the solar tower must be between one and ten. Obviously, it only works during the day. I don't understand this little part right here but i bet if we built it that would make sense so to build this we would have to make two structures a solar reflector and the solar tower that's one route to go the other route was what did it say the boiler let's double check l for for looksies <laughs> a boiler it's all boiler plate i tell you so let's check what is the boiler well, that's different. The boiler is a multi-block structure that uses diesel and water to produce steam. When we're making diesel, the structure is built as shown above and formed by using the engineer's hammer. Okay. So it looks like this uses a whole bunch of iron. And it can run at night, I believe. Applying a redstone signal to the control panel at the front will halt the machine's process so we can turn it on and off. This can be inverted by use of the engineer's hammer. Water can be input into the boiler via hatches at the left that are marked with blue dots. Diesel can be input at the right of the machine. 
The hatch with the orange dot at the top serves as a fluid output. One bucket of water makes distilled water. Produces 700 millibuckets of steam. And one distilled water. Oh. So we would have to make distilled water and then distilled water will turn into steam. Hmm. So which route do we go? That is the that's the uh, the question. So this needs some steel scaffolding and iron sheet metal. It needs this structure, and I'm going to presume that the way that this is talking, we have got to have a um, a tank for diesel, a tank for water, and then that outputs to distilled water. Let's see here. One bucket of water produces 500 millibuckets and one of distilled water. I don't get that. One bucket of distilled water, maybe? Oh, and one bucket of distilled water produces 750 millibuckets of steam. The hatch with the orange top. Hmm. So, okay, this this is telling me that water in will, will equal steam. So we would have to make two tanks. I think either, well, let's double check this other one. Solar tower. Water is input. And outputs a fluid output. I guess this thing can make distilled water. I'm not quite understanding it. Not 100%, but here's the thing. This, 20 steel fence, steel sheet metal. It looks like it needs a whole bunch more steel. And a redstone engineer block and five heavy engineering block. So the upside to this structure is that it takes more materials to build, but in the daytime it will run and it will make steam for us and we don't have to worry about making any more fuel. But here's the thing, here's my, my thought process. We've just created a, a way to make diesel. The system runs a little slow because we don't have a lot of electricity going on over there. But we have a way to draw oil out of the ground, convert it to diesel, and then we could run diesel through our diesel engine. Or not diesel engine, but the boiler. This. This will run on diesel. It'll intake water, and it will make steam for us. And we can do it at any time, day or night. So that's what I'm thinking might be the, the better way to go is to build the boiler, multi-blocks and all that. See, it only needs 10 steel scaffolding and then the rest is iron. So I want to hold on to the steel that we've, or the iron that, no, yeah, the steel, I was right. I want to hold on to all that steel we've converted because I get the feeling we're probably going to have to make some other stuff. So before we move forward with that, let me hit this little button here so we can get our uh, last viewer comments up and going. So Zach said you can melt down clay and you could pour it as terracotta. So a few episodes back, we were making these wire relays and we needed terracotta blocks. And so I was taking clay blocks and putting them over there and getting them cooked into terracotta. But he says that we can take clay blocks or clay balls and make terracotta. Now, I don't need any terracotta at the moment, and I'm probably not going to remember when I need to do it as per usual, but here's what I want to do. Terracotta. So just a straight up terracotta block. So see, this is what we're looking at. I have to remember to do this. This is what I keep forgetting, that I can check these different tabs up here and I can scroll through here for different recipes. So look, molten clay. Okay, the water will wash it off. That's what's going on there. So if I click on the molten clay, smelting, water, seared stone, and liquid dirt will let us make molten clay, which is pretty cool. Or we can just melt down clay balls or clay blocks and that villager thought that was really cool <laughs> so thank you so much for that suggestion i better grab some of these because i'm starting to run a little low i've been eating berries like a mad fool keep jumping and falling and hurting myself and making my hunger saturation go away but thank you so much for that that little hint that was awesome that was an awesome hint 
And then we have Bratz Movie 17. Oh, I just, I was reading the notes and not paying attention where I'm running. <laughs> Bratz Movie 17 said, Gal Gadorian ingot is not necessary to finish the pack. Trust me, you're not going to want to start with it. And it is a lot. There is a lot of stuff to make this Gal Gadorian ingot. But I am a little torn because I also want to be a completionist. I want to complete everything. I know we haven't completed that, and we haven't completed that. We did manage to complete all of this in age one, so that was cool. But there's stuff here in the Between Lands, and there's stuff here in Twilight Force that we've not completed. Um, I'm, I'm like half and half, because this is not a Between Lands or Twilight Forest um, series, and so I'm not so feeling pressured to finish all of this, where if I was doing a specific series on Twilight Forest or Between Lands, then it might be cooler to try and like get all of the advancements. That would be cool. But here's what I really want to focus on. So y'all let me know down in the comments below, would you like to see me try to at least complete all of the Sevtech stuff? Like we would go ahead and do the Vicecraft airships. I know I'm going to have to do this to get the propene stuff uh, done. But the Gal Gadorian metal, should we go back and focus on these two to get these done? Do you all want to see all of the different things achieved? Or are we just more interested in getting through the mod pack and trying to get to the last age? I'll leave that up to you guys. Whatever you all want to do, I'm willing to do. I'll figure out a way to do it. It may come a little bit further on down in the series because I feel like maybe I've got to get some more stuff to, to gather that. But we can work on it if that's what you all are interested in. So for here... Let's let's see about building this boiler. So 10 steel scaffolding. How much steel scaffolding do I have left over? I've got these little scaffolding slabs, but I don't know that we have any uh, scaffolding left over. Now what's really cool about this is because this thing's going to run on diesel, we could actually bring the, the boiler over here. We could make the diesel over there and bring it over here. And it doesn't need um, electricity to run the thing because it's going to make its own uh, electricity running diesel. Okay, so I've got the, sca the half slab scaffoldings here. So let's see. Nope. Get on the book. How many of those do we need? We need 10. And it is three rods and three steel ingots for each one. So let's go ahead and swap you out. We're going to run over here to our steel factory and get ourselves, I don't know, we'll start with maybe half a stack of steel. That sounds reasonable. And then if we need some more, we'll come back. So I can't, I think one recipe will get us six. So one and two. Could chunk your way to success, please. Go ahead and leave those in there for now. We don't need them at the moment, although we might here pretty soon. Um, and do that. See, he's remembering. He can be taught. So I need two more. I love it when a plan comes together. Said no B.A. Baracus ever. <laughs> Only Murdoch says that. Baracus needs to drink milk so he can fly in airplanes. Raise your hand if you get that reference. Okay, so there we go. That is the... Uh, and you know what? Let, he said what? Did you hear that? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and just start building this over here. Now, what we'll do is once we've got it built and seen how it runs, we can go ahead and tear it apart and uh, redo it later. So the bottom level is scaffolding, and it is... Stop. Wait. Okay, that that pause you and then come back okay there we go now so one two three four five pipes along the bottom okay do i have five pipes i thought i had piping apparently not but i i know the recipe for piping but we need more plates yes we do two more plates to be exact so let's go ahead and swap you out and you can make some plates for us while we go set this other stuff up. Actually, that's going to be two plates right there, isn't it? Come on now. We need the pipes. Whoop. 
And let's see here. We'll get that going. Oh, I've got lubricant. I thought maybe I had diesel with me. I could go ahead and fire up the engine as soon as we get it running. Nope, we made plates on, on purpose for a reason, Piggy. Get with the program. Oh, I had fluid pipes there and I didn't see them. <laughs> Way to go, Piggy. You ruined everything. And somehow that's on the ground. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's our five pipes. They don't look like these for some reason. But we'll go with it. And then we're going to put uh, 10 scaffolding, five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. That should be all the steel we need for this, I believe. Let's see. Get that book back where we can work with it. Okay. So a redstone block. Oh, man. These things are a stinker to build. And what are those? Fluid pipes, redstone, and iron sheet metal. We need 20 iron sheet metal. I kid you not, I have made so much iron sheet metal for all these tanks. It's ridiculous. I tell you, I tell you. I tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> Since we've already ha had one edit, why not? Why not? We're just going to go ahead and do ourselves another edit here real quick. I'm going to get the rest of these materials built off camera so we can go ahead and get this tank going so y'all aren't wasting time watching me just run around over and over again gathering materials love that setup and we'll come back over here and we're going to experiment with this boiler and see if we can figure out how to make it work all right everybody i'm over here just running this steel through here to make this last thing this heavy engineering block just oh my gosh <laughs> wait a minute i just saw something that what is this Wait, two steel plates and that will give me one instead of four? Darn it, I've been wasting so much materials on there. Okay, so what is that? The engineer's blueprint. you got to be kidding me. I've just not been paying attention to this. So, the, what was the part called? Steel mechanical component. Watch me already have it in there. Uh, molds? No, that's different molds, so let's go and take that out of there. Mechanical, steel mechanical component. Wow. <laughs> so in building all of that uh, oil refinery stuff over there, I wasted a whole bunch more steel than I needed to. So wait, what was the recipe? Let's look this up again. Two and one copper ingot. So I still need the same amount of copper ingots, but I only need half. So that that gets me four. And let's see, is that going... Oh, no. Every time I see that little thing, I start to wonder I'm going to get a crash. Nice. So there's four of those. Went ahead and got the rest of this stuff done. Like I said, y'all see me do it off camera, so it's no big... No big... Uh, you're not missing anything. If you are, if you feel like you are, go back and watch previous episodes and you can see me build all that stuff. So if we click it. Uh-oh, did I build it wrong? I know sometimes it's very dependent on, like, the direction that you face. Let's see here. Let's, let's double check the book. See, here's the thing. See how these pipes... Or sitting like that. But they look like they're connected at the same time. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's tear the whole thing down. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> That's an old song, too. Piggy's full of old songs, I tell you. He's like, he's like this jukebox with, with feet. So I'm just saying, let's go ahead and collect all of these items and we'll double check our parts list to make sure we have the right parts. The only other thing I can think of is, you know how when you right click the pipe, these pipes with the hammer, that it makes it look like that? That's the only thing I can think of that maybe, maybe that block specifically has to look different. Because I seriously get the feeling that we've already gathered all the right materials. And once again, we've got an audience of, of bad guys just hanging out. What in the world is that pig doing walking around on two feet 
And what is he building? <laughs> All right, so whoosh, look at that. Everything checks out. Check it, check. One, two, three, four, five. So let's just try and do this all over again and see what happens. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So see how those look now? Now, if I right left click them, see that separates some of them, but then it doesn't. Oh, there it goes. Oh, the junction. You have to separate the junction. Okay, maybe that's important. So let's give that a try. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to see if I can do this from memory. It was redstone block there, heavy engineering blocks here. We got that one left over. Um, all right. Redstone, those four. The steel. See, I wish that there was a way I could forwards and backwards. Okay, so that is a solid layer. So we'll make a solid layer and then we'll put the piping on top of it. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That should be correct. And then we do these pipes here. Let's go ahead and separate them at their junctions. Will that work? Maybe I'm not hitting the right block. Let's see. Uh, engineer's hammer on the central sheet metal iron block long side. What? So somewhere in here maybe? That's a long side. Oh, oh, there we go. I right clicked and it went crazy. Cool. That looks really, really cool. So here's some more interface. Here's what I think is going on. We're going to input probably diesel here. Empty. See, it's not even telling us what it is. We're going to input water here. And we will probably be getting steam here. The output was water, wasn't it? Uh, distilled water? Oh, there's two. Orange for output, blue for input, right? So these two inputs. Is this considered an output? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stop. I think one side lets us input diesel and the other side lets us input water. That's how that's set up. And we've got this. Let's sneak and see what that means. Create item to create speed upgrades. Immersive petroleum. Speed upgrades? Let's check that out. Speed up grades. Additional augers, okay. A redstone carrot. <laughs> that poor horse. I wouldn't do that to a horse. I wouldn't do that to a carrot either. <laughs> I hear a bad guy, so I bet we're not going to be able to sleep. You stinking stinker stinkerish. We'll just run over here to the leaf bed as our backup. Backing up. Hmm, yeah, that's what I was thinking, sir. Always, always a Mr. Thoughtful you are. So thoughtful he is. And a couple episodes ago, I also said, you know what? I don't think we have a uh, an infinite water source. Completely forgot about that. So let you know. Let's do this. We'll go and fill up all of our buckets with water, okay? And we'll go ahead over here and put water in this, and then we'll go get ourselves four buckets of uh, diesel. How about that? Let's see what this does. Stop the bouncing, Peggy. Got stuff to do. Okay, so water goes in the left. So I was wrong. I thought diesel goes over there, but I guess not. Okay. So, slingshot, poor favor. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> didn't work so good. I said slingshot yourself. Oh, no. Not like that. As a lady said from the Matrix, not like that. <laughs> How did she know Piggy was going to do that and she meant not like that? 
Who knows? So I've got this big old nasty puddles of stuff going on over here. We're making our own little swamp of uh, just non-biodegradable messes. <laughs> so diesel. Uh-oh. I don't want to take that last bit out because that is going to make it where we can't... Um, it's going to pull some other fluid. So let's do this. Let's just start running crude oil through there. And this is going to force this thing to start making some diesel. Nope. Two, three, four. There we go. Wow, that thing was actually pretty full of uh, oil. Oh, and that stuff just gets spit out on the ground. So there we go. See, we're starting to get some uh, diesel back up. 1,000 per bucket. Okay. Well, let's go with two buckets for now. We'll come back if we need more, which I get the feeling we're going to... What we're going to eventually need to do is probably move the distiller and everything. We might need to make like a, a pipeline that's going to take the oil from wherever the pump jack is over to the distillery. And that's going to make us our diesel because I get the feeling we're going to need lots of plastic and other kinds of stuff for whatever we're going to make for these spaceships. So we'll do that. Dump that in. Dump that in. Okay. Are you going to work? Control panel. So let's see here. I know it said something about a redstone signal. Maybe we've got to uh, flip a lever. Lever, lever, lever. Um, second page. Applying a redstone signal to the control panel at the front will halt the machine's proce process. This behavior can be inverted by use of the engineer's hammer. So this? That's not doing anything. Maybe this? Redstone control inverted, not inverted. How do I turn this on? I have to go searching. I know I've got levers around here somewhere. Where did I see those? I think they were back over here in the old courtyard. I could swear that we had like five different ones laying around. Oh, that stuff from the nether. Yeah, we're not going to go back to the nether unless we absolutely have to at this point. Torches. Don't need torches. Here we go. Let's keep these with us. I sense a theme going on. <laughs> the levers of power move slowly, I tell you. So let's smack that on there. Does that turn that on? Does it not have enough stuff? Huh. I don't get it. Maybe it needs more fuel. Let's double check the book. Water can be input into the boiler via hatches at the left that are marked with blue dots. Diesel can be input at the right. The hatch with the orange dot at the top serves as a fluid output. Hmm, I wonder if that's the problem. Maybe this is steam, and we have to output fluid into a tank. Another tank. <laughs> and we need that NAFTA because we, we know we're going to have to uh, use it for um, plastic. Plastico. Yeah, and all that good stuff. Let's see here. All right, we'll just build, we'll just build ourselves another tank, I guess. So let's get that out of there, get this prepped and ready to go. Now, there's another thing going on here that I noticed when I was checking out uh, redstone stuff. Now, I'd watched a couple of Dagcraft videos, and I saw him doing this thing with his Tinker Smelter, and I didn't have any idea what in the world this block was, and I stumbled upon it today when I was trying to make this redstone engineering block. This thing, a redstone clock. It says clock with time and power controls. 
So if I was to make this clock and stick it right above this, would that make this thing go and we would be able to just like insta-pour and it would just keep going? I wonder. So let's see here. Oh man, we're going to have to... Good thing that we've got that excavate on there, but we're going to have to go find ourselves another uh, iron deposit here pretty soon. So five ingots, so that's going to be one, two, three, four. That's going to get us one more block, and then after that we need nine. Oh, there we go. For those of you all that don't know how I'm doing this, I right-click, and it gives me half of whatever that stack is. That's a really, really cool shortcut, and you can use that in vanilla Minecraft as well. That's not stuck to just modded now this one whichever one of the two fills up first i get the feeling it's going to be this one although i don't know i started them started them both the same time yep that's what happened that's a weird background sound <laughs> i'm wearing headphones now so i can hear really well all the different sounds going on any of y'all that ever watched the series with headphones on you probably heard it normally i don't ever hear that because i usually got a tv playing so that's going to have one more block left. Okay, well, that's fine. We may need to come back and get that anyway. All right, so y'all cool off. Well, y'all are, wait, cool your jets, Piggy. Cool your jets. You've got wood in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've got some of that and some of that. So, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll just go with that. So this is going to give us four blocks of iron. See? See, maybe this is the maybe this is the genius of the whole setup. Um, you make it where you have to make the same thing over and over again, so many stinking times in a row that you finally get to the point where you start like realizing how to do it. It's, it's there in your memory, and then it becomes like uh, like regular vanilla Minecraft, where you start to think that you can remember all the recipes, but you really can't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't think of how many times I actually have to uh, go look up recipes on the internet. I thought I grabbed eight. I'm going to have to go back and watch the uh, the footage because I am almost convinced that I grabbed eight. So let's do this. Get ourselves some treated planks. I know that I need some more fence posts. I could swear that we end up with extra fence posts, but for some reason, I'm not seeing them. Okay, we've got iron ingots, and from there we need, how much sheet metal? I think 32. Oh, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. As I was gonna say, sometimes you can half and half it, and uh, not like the milk, not like half and half for your coffee. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What are we doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Stop it, I said. Get out of there. Um... Can I? There we go. <laughs> Great. It's a good thing that I made the thing that'll up convert it, right? Because I'm going to need that now. Metal press, mold packing. We're going to have to up convert these nuggets. Let's get those out of there. Um, packing, three by three. Swap you out. Yeah, old piggy's a derp. <laughs> and get those going. Come on, you. Are you telling me you can't make iron nuggets into... Um, that's that's frustrating. We'll leave those there. So that is 16. Great. Now, I, now I've kind of lost track of how many. Let's do this. We'll dump that in there. I think we can melt down the iron nuggets. It's going to be a waste of, of lava, <laughs> as some would say. It's going to be a waste of lava. But we'll just run it through again. How about that? And we got a block sitting in there. Let's let's go and run that block through while we're at it, since it takes a while to cool off. All right, so I really hope that this works. No, we don't want the stinking pipes. We got plenty of pipes. We wasted enough materials on the pipes. 32, so we're getting close. But yeah, I was going to say, I really hope that this works, because if it doesn't, I'm kind of at a loss as what in the world we need to do to make this boiler work. Okay, so this will at least tell us 
how many more we need to run through for plates. So we've got 21. We need 32, which is 11 more, so that would be 12. 11, 10, 9, so we need 9 more ingots turned into plates. Let's see if quick math with Piggy worked. And I didn't count there, so it was 22 minus 9 would be that we're left with 12. Yeah, y'all go back. While this is running through, quickly, get yourself a pen and paper and double check Piggy's math. Tell him if he knows what he's talking about or if he's lost his ever-loving mind. <laughs> we'll find out in the next series. Yeah, I'm going to drag that one out. Come on, you. There we go. Last one. Awesome. So this, if the math was correct, I don't think I did the math correct. Spoiler alert. <laughs> that... Yeah, I know. Well, these sheep, I tell you what. Okay, we're only one block off. I can handle that. I can deal with that. Um, where did the fence post go? There we go. So that, and we want that hammer at the ready, which it is. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and build this right next to this. I think that's going to be okay, even though that tried to connect. I think once we hit it with a hammer... Give it a little hammer time. It'll be all right. My gosh, look at how many uh, fluid tanks we got going on in this joint. <laughs> it's crazy. You'd think the industrial age started over here. Uh-oh. We need three more. So much for math with Piggy. One, two, three. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. When I'm at work and things are very important, and they're important to do with numbers, I use calculator. I know you're not allowed to do that in school because uh, teachers want to know that you know how to do it. And I guess if I slowed down and did it on pen and paper, or pencil and paper, whichever you prefer, I could do the math. But usually when you're at work, it's kind of like time constraints. You need to hurry up and add stuff because you got things to do. You're getting paid by the, by the minute, and they want results by the minute. See, I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. Let's see who can figure out where that quote comes from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this should output, oh, you better be enough pipe. So that should output water, right? So is this working? Flip the lever. Are you working? That don't make any sense. And there's not supposed to be a place where it gets plugged. This right here makes me think it might be something. Do I smack you? No. That's how you make stuff work, right? You beat it with a hammer. Let's break this off. So what was the state that we've got it in? Inverted, non-inverted. Okay. Now, the other thing, the other pipe, we, we did this trick. We powered a block next to it. Does that work? Now, the other thing is these machines don't make any noise. That's empty. No. All right, so the other thing, let's presume that we don't have enough uh, fluid or stuff in there to make the device work. So let's go ahead and make it date. Oh, come on, don't get stuck in there. There you go. Sleepy, sleepy. So let's say, let's just fill it up with water. And then we will fill it up with um, diesel. The only other thing I can think is... Maybe it's possible that for some reason in Sevtech they made it where you've got to run distilled water in there. And then we would have to go make a uh, distiller, just like the straight up one, not the one that you would use for making the diesel and stuff. Two, three, four, five. So we can do four more buckets of water. I'm going to feel like a goon. See, the thing is, it's taking um, the regular water and holding it. Two, three, four. So I'm, I'm thinking that if it wasn't a valid fluid to put in there, it wouldn't even let you. 
So let's see. Whoop. One, two, three, four. I guess I miscounted. Okay, so that is full of water. I've got a bucket here to capture whatever. So that's not doing anything. So does it need more diesel? Put gasoline in there, that would work. But not really. You really don't want to put gas in a diesel engine. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now, kids. Don't do that. Don't put gasoline in a diesel engine. Um, let's see here. Diesel inputs. Uh, one bucket of water will produce 750 millibuckets of steam. Hmm. Burning a... Wait. A thousand burn time times four for a millibucket of diesel. And then just tell this just tells us how to make the uh, the thing, but we've already done that. Where's the uh, the troubleshooting guide on this whole thing? That's what I would like to know. Let's just get up here, stuff our face because we keep bouncing around and hurting ourselves, and let's slingshot over to the uh, the oil refinery. I don't know if we're close enough for this thing to run while we are far away. It would be nice if we were. It looks like we are, because it looks like it ran through all the fluids. Yeah, and we just picked up some bitumen that wasn't on the ground before we left. Oh, so one, two, three, four. Four diesel. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's put all that back. Because what I want to do, let's get some oil into this thing. Two, three, four. Why in the world did it just put a, a bucket over here? There we go. It's freaking out on me. Okay, lubricant. I don't know which one is which at this point. We've kind of lost track. Okay, that's lubricant and that's lubricant. Okay, close enough. <laughs> All right, so empty bucket. And let's get that oil, that Texas tea. It's very tasty, Texas tea. <laughs> okay, are you going to... There you go. Okay, so let's see if we... Oh, I still got one bucket left. Get in there, please. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got five buckets of diesel now. And that's the other thing I just thought of. Like, is there different ways that people pronounce the word diesel? Like, I'm inclined to say diesel. But I want to say that there might be people that call it like the S would have a Z sound. Diesel. Like that. I wonder if there's a proper way to pronounce it or not. Inquiring minds want to know. And there goes my cat stuck in the room with me and he wants out now. So I am at a loss here. I don't know why this machine is not turning off and on. Maybe a lever needs to go here for some stinking reason? No. So it's kind of a bust. We did all this work. I really don't know what's going on. It's a bust, and if it sits out here too long, it might rust. Which at this point, I'm almost inclined to say, good on you. Go ahead and rust, because you're not working for me, buddy. <laughs> Somebody's growling and upset. I keep thinking that this means something, but I have no idea what it means. Is this like an output for steam maybe or something like that? Put a bucket in here. I don't know what the deal is going on here. Hmm. I tell you what, I'm going to go. We've got just a minute or two left in the episode. I'm going to go ahead and do some quick research. See if I can figure out what's going on with this. We'll come back and we'll see if we can get this machine to run. All right, everybody. So I've done a little bit of searching around. I really can't find very much information on this. I can't find very many videos. A lot of people went the solar route. I only found one person that really had gone with the boiler. They used um, distilled water. But this is what's kind of bothering me. Let's go through here and double check this. 
Let's make absolutely sure. Water can be input into the boiler via hatches at the left that are Marco blue dots, and diesel can be run into the right. The hatch with the orange dot at the top serves as a fluid output. One bucket of water produces 500 millibuckets, and one of distilled water produces 750 millibuckets of steam. So if I'm reading that right, putting in one bucket of water will produce 500 millibuckets of distilled water. Is that right? It doesn't make sense. This turns water into distilled water and salt. So is it that they, they worded it wrong? Or is there just something I'm not understanding? I don't get it. But I get the feeling that we're probably going to have to build a distiller to get this thing to work. Which is just a little frustrating because... If we're going to make distilled water, then why does this have a fluid output on top of it? It, it makes absolutely no sense. So we're kind of stuck here with this one, which happens sometimes, which is no big deal. We'll work through it. We'll figure it out. So if y'all would, help out old Piggy in the comment section below. Tell him what he's doing wrong. Y'all are really good about doing that. Not telling me what I'm doing wrong, but y'all are really good about saying, Hey, Piggy, try it this way, buddy. Hey, Piggy, do this. Try it this way. You'll make it work. So, And I appreciate all of that. So, yeah, if y'all did enjoy this episode, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these as I release them and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know when the new videos come out. And if you're interested in, in hanging out with me in Discord, look down below and you'll see a Discord chat uh, link that you can click on. You can come hang out in Discord. You can also go check out my second YouTube channel for some other games that I've played before. But I'm going to see if I can do a little more research on this and figure out what in the world's going on here. Probably going to have to go find a, a, a ore vein of um, iron because it's just ridiculous the amount of iron we're blowing through on this. I'm going to get all that stuff prepped and ready for next episode and that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode.